Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for this under carpet um, heated pad. So in this video, I'm actually gonna walk you through a little bit on the installation. I'll talk a little bit about my setup here. I'll show you a cool method I'm, that I'm actually using to power on the, the heat, and I'll also talk a little bit about the power usage and just some things to expect with this. So um, first off, let's go over the actual um, material itself. I have basically a triple layer here. We have a pad that's basically on the base. This pad is basically designed to prevent um, the actual, both the coil that's used to heat the carpet and the carpet itself from moving around on the floor. So I'm actually using this here with a desk setup. So I've got my chair here and then my full desk. And basically this gives me a really nice um, area. So I'm not gonna end up in a scenario where this is moving around on me at all, despite that I do have my desk and everything on here. Um, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna have uh, regardless of where you place down the actual rug pad. Now, this is the largest size that I was able to get for this. You can see there's basically coils that just run right through this. This then heats up the carpet beneath and I did have to find a carpet that was to size. This particular one um, is fairly large, so it was about the largest I could get. Just make sure you measure your space. Um, this is actually a very interesting space. This is formerly a garage bay. We used to actually have a garage door here and I converted this into a man cave. Um, when I bought this home, the previous owners actually had finished this space but left the garage door on it. And I decided to install a mini split, which obviously gave me um, the AC in the, in the uh, cool like summer months, but I really needed um, obviously some good heat. And what I found out very quickly was in our first winter, I was out here in my office, um, whoever did the work in here didn't do a great job of insulating the concrete floor. There's also concrete um, kind of basically border that goes along here all on the edge. And I really discovered very quickly that I needed something to help mitigate a lot of that. So this was the best solution outside of tearing up the flooring and redoing insulation, redoing the flooring, doing redoing all the trim. I decided to go out and buy this carpet. So I got this pretty much measured almost perfectly. You can see it goes right to this edge and there's almost maybe like a half a foot gap here on either side. So that's the first thing I recommend is that wherever you're going to be putting this, make sure you find a space um, that you know, you know, hey, I've, I've measured out both the actual pad and the carpet that I'm going to be using. Um, and basically this will work out pretty well for you. Um, this actually has a plug that goes into the wall and I was able to kind of join this. You can see down here, it's basically the plug on the bottom. Um, you have a test power switch there on the top and then you've also got an indicator that will light up whether or not this is on. So currently this is actually off. Um, it does not make any noise whatsoever when on, so it's completely silent. It does take a little bit of time to get up and running. This particular model, I've noticed um, we actually have a energy monitor in the house, so I'm gonna show you a couple things. First, I wanna show you a cool add-on that I actually got for this. This is a company called Govi. They actually make a wire, uh, it's basically a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth-based device. It's a little um, plug that you can put into the wall, so I can probably show a little bit better angle of this. So this is the plug there, and I have the heater element plugged into that. Um, that basically allows me to wirelessly power on whatever's plugged into it. So one thing I found was when I wanted to come out in my office, I figured, hey, you know, it's gonna be a really cold day. Why don't I go power this on? So if I actually come down here, I can hit the on button, and you can see, boom, it now flicked on. And when I'm done with this, at the end of the night, I don't have to manually go over to the switch or pull it out of the wall. I can simply just hit the off button and boom, we're off. So it works really, really well for that purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you something else that I think is really cool. I have an app on my phone that's actually built into my electric panel. And I'm sure some of you may wanna know how much energy does this use? So in real time right now, we have a pretty large property. Right now we're using roughly about 5,300 watts. Um, I think I've actually got the dryer on right now possibly. Um, it's a, kind of floating around that 5,500 mark. We'll give it a second there. I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this back on and you can see how much it goes up by. And it should be roughly about uh, 500 watts. So now we should be hitting closer to like that 6,000 range as this kind of refreshes. And um, overall, this is actually coming from my garage. So you could see we do have a little bit higher um, energy usage there. So it seems to float around that 250 to 500 watt range. So that's what you can expect to use. It's really not a ton of energy. Um, so this is something if you wanted to run it continuously, you know, in my case, I'm sitting at my desk during the day or at night. I want to have that heat on through the carpet. This is definitely going to work pretty well. 
So overall, just kind of something you have to decide and choose if you want to add to your um, setup. But overall, I've been very happy with it. I think if you're looking for something that's going to obviously heat up the space, easy to use, like if you want to get one of these Wi-Fi add-ons, and obviously the coils um, do start to heat up pretty quickly. So if I put my hand down here, I can already feel they're starting to get hot. So it takes a little bit of time, but overall very, very happy with this, and it was a really good solution for something that otherwise would have been quite expensive to try to resolve. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video review.